Hi, I'm Danny. I have a test for how many minerals and impurities are in your drinking water. This is expensive pure water that I bought at the grocery store. It costs about $1.50 a pint. That would be $12 for one gallon. Regular and gasoline cost only three thirty. I wondered how pure this water really was, if it was worth all that money. I wondered how much more pure it was compared to regular city tap water. There's one test using a multimeter I can compare purities. I can compare the resistivity of the water. Pure water made in a special lab has a very high ohms count. Pure water is not a very good conductor of electricity. It is the impurities in water that make it a good conductor of electricity. The better water conducts electricity, the more impurities it has in it. I put a copper strip and a zinc strip in the water. I am now going to measure the resistivity between the two metals inside the water. You get about 8,000 ohms. The more ohms there are, there's more resistivity. But that's good, that means there's no impurities in the water. In this bottle, I have regular city tap water. I am now going to test the resistivity of city water. I get 1,500 ohms. Less ohms is bad. That means there's a lot more impurities in this water. It has about five times as many impurities as the pure water. So the pure water is really more pure. But I still don't know if it's worth $12 a gallon. For comparison's sake, I got a third bottle filled with salt water. I get 200 ohms. That's bad. That means there's a lot of impurities in the water. And this is about a 50-50 mixture. About half of it is salt. 